Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Now, what we have here is a Amaron Go. This is about five years old and it doesn't work anymore. It doesn't start the car. This came off from the Prodoa MyV. Uh, it has been sitting in the background of some of my videos for the last one and a half years or so. All right. So I should have traded this in or recycled it um, when I got the new battery, but I didn't have it with me when I bought the new battery and I have not had the time to actually bring this to the shop to well, trade it in. Even though it's just like 5 minutes away from my house. But yeah, you know, life gets busy, right? Everybody's life gets busy. So, I didn't know what to do with, with it. It was more of a paperweight. Until recently, I saw on a website that there is something that we can do about it. And it is this. Apparently, pour this in and you can restore the battery. They claim that it can last for 30 years. Some claim for 5 years. But I'm not going to trust that. And I'm not going to test for 30 years. By that time, I'm mo most likely dead. I'm already an old man. But if this can be restored and it can give me 12 to 13 volts, well, I can use this as a spare battery. So I can test out my electronics without attaching it to the car prior to installation. That would be good. I mean, this thing only cost me about 14 ringgit. So that's about $3. Why not, right? So let's give it a try. First off, we'll test what voltage this battery is giving us. Excuse the blue wire because well, I lost the black one and I have no idea where it is. 9 volts, definitely not enough. Okay, so we need a screwdriver. Now this may vary depending on the type of battery or the brand of battery, but for Amaro, Amaron, it's very simple to to open the caps, which is just jam it at the side here and just pry it open slowly. Oh, before we do that, safety first, all right? Because it's acid inside the battery and you don't want to have that on your eye. So make sure you wear this. Yes, in case you're wondering, I am definitely wearing them. The door is a bit blur. Okay, let's pop up. This one as well. Okay, now I'm gonna bring you to see what's inside here. Okay, so there's some battery water here. Some here as well, some here as well, here as well. Uh, but this this is bone dry. Okay, so what we'll do is we will top up some here and put the rest into here. So we don't want it to be too high. Just submerge the plates. Okay, I'm going to use a funnel for this. So it says about 10 ml for each, but I'm just going to go however I feel like it. It should not be too full. That's what they say. Okay, let's have a look. Submerge, 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 submerge. 
Okay. It's water, water, submerge, submerge, submerge. Okay. So now it says to charge it with the cap open. So let's do that. Okay, that's zero at the moment. Okay, so do this in a well ventilated area, if possible outdoor, but since I'm indoor, I'm going to open the windows, alright? Okay, I'm going to use a repair function here first, see how it goes. Okay, and I'll leave this for 8 hours and I'll be back. Yeah, it's bubbling inside the one that was empty, so that's interesting. Okay, we'll be back. Alright, so we have already uh, fully charged this up. So it actually took almost 16 hours to fully charge this. Now, I've also done a couple of other things, like I've actually sent the tips here as well a bit, so that it has better contacts. And now that it's fully charged, let's turn this off. Okay, let's have a look at the voltage, shall we? Very good. Very good. Not like the pre previously. I am impressed. The voltage has been restored. Now let's have a look at this. One thing I did notice is that this indicator over here Green means battery is okay, it's, uh, black means it's no good, but we start off with black and we are at green now. Now I am very impressed, I did not expect something that cost about a couple of dollars or just I think about 16 ringgit to be so effective. But the main test remains, does it power up anything? Very bright, very good. I am very, very impressed at this point. So now the next test is, can you start a car with this? So let's bring this out and put it to the car. Okay, so moment of truth, see whether the car can start or not. Okay, so this is the old battery, you can see all the grease stain at the side just like in the earlier video. So let's see if this starts, alright? If this starts, I'll be bloody impressed. It starts. It really starts. Now I'm impressed. I'm like, 
Dude, something so cheap actually managed to restore the battery. Okay, on to the summary. Okay, that's the end of this experiment DIY. I am bloody impressed for the price paid for this item. I will put a link on the description on where I purchased this. They do sell it in a pack of one or pack of three. For my case, one pack was barely sufficient because as you saw, it was empty on one side. So I have to make sure it fill up above the metal and then just distribute out the rest sort of evenly. Well, majority of it is not full yet, so I might just purchase another bottle just to uh, fill it up. What I am very impressed is that it actually bought a dead battery, one that doesn't start the car and after that abandoned for more than a year at the site, at the background of all my videos, not charge up, nothing. And now the battery is back to life. This is green. I had to send this a bit for better context, but... Hey, it was left out in the open for more than a year, so it's understandable that this corroded a bit, alright? I'm bloody impressed, but the thing is, I will still not use this as my daily uh, battery, meaning that I will not attach this to the car to use it. Reason being is I have a newer battery in the car already, and I will use this to test any electronics that I have before I install it into the car. Yeah, I'm still very impressed. Didn't expect this. I was expecting this to be a failure and make a failure video, you know, negative videos uh, and condemn it, but I got nothing to condemn this. I really got nothing to condemn this. This is seriously something that I did not expect. But in the in the listing itself, they do say that it is a 90% chance of restoring your battery. So meaning that there's a 10% chance your, your battery may not be able to be recovered. Uh, it did not mention what type of batteries, but mainly car and motorbike batteries. Whether dry cell or wet cells, I'm not too sure. But this is a dry cell, meaning that it is actually a maintenance free, but surprisingly, it was quite easy to assess the inside of the battery damn i'm still impressed <laughs> yeah okay so if you find this video helpful make sure you hit the like button if you find this useless make sure you hit this but leave us a comment down below on why you feel that it's useless and if you have not done so in which most of you have not done so make sure you hit the subscribe like and bell button so you get notified on any future uploads that i will have which I will have. So I will see you again.